Welcome to the CDOC's tip of the day. Today I want to talk about self-glazing Emacs. Now, as you know, with Emacs, we can stain and glaze the restoration at the same times that we crystallize it. But there are times, especially in today's world where speed is an issue, we want to get the patients in and out of the chair as fast as possible. And most patients, if it's a back tooth, they don't necessarily care about all of the stain that might be on the tooth. So is there an opportunity with Emacs that we simply self-glaze it, meaning we polish it and then we go ahead and fire it. You do not have to put glaze, you do not have to put stain on an Emacs restoration. So if your assistant isn't available, if the patient doesn't really care, it's not a high aesthetic need patient, just make your life simple. Polish and crystallize Emacs without putting on the staining glaze. So how do we do this? The first thing you want to do is using a fine diamond, remove the sprue. Do it carefully. You don't want to uh, create excessive heat. You don't need to use water in this, but you also don't want to create excessive heat as that's going to cause micro fractures in the restoration. Then we're going to polish. Um, lots of great polishing options. One of them is Optrafine from Ivoclar. You want to use the light blue and then you go ahead to the dark blue step and that'll give you a nice surface that should be polished. When you look at that blue restoration before it's been crystallized, it should appear polished. It should look shiny at this point. Now, once the restoration has been polished, we can go ahead and place our object fix on the restoration. We put it on the firing pad and then we put it in our programmatic CS2 oven and then we crystallize Emacs. Crystallization takes that restoration and makes it uh, into the lithium disilicate material. And then now it has its final strength. It also has its final color. And you've gotten a very nice aesthetic looking restoration without having to go through the steps of staining and glazing. Hope you enjoyed this tip. If you have more questions, please don't hesitate to visit us on cdocs.com.